You're watching Telecom TV from the Etsy 5G Network Infrastructure Summit. And I'm joined now by Kevin Smith, who is chairman of Etsy's Next Generation Protocol, ISG. Kevin, good to talk to you on Telecom TV. What's wrong with today's network protocols? Well, certainly in one respect, they're tremendously successful. They, the, they've been the foundation of the, the great growth of the mobile internet um, over the last uh, 20 years or so. Um, they were, however, designed, designed in a simpler time. So TCP IP coming around the mid-1970s, um, the, the constraints under which it was designed originally were it was a fixed line, it was a predictable speed of line, and it was static. The uh, terminals weren't moving. What we're seeing now, of course, is a world where wireless networks are overtaking uh, fixed. We're seeing huge mobility as people move around and uh, performance um, demands are really coming down. And all of these put, mean that, uh, to realize this, we've seen a set of overlays, shims, patches, etc., have uh, developed over the years uh, upon the, the old TCP IP framework uh, to realize this. So what's Etsy doing to address this problem? What is the remit for its ISG? So the remit for the group is not to invent anything. What we're trying to do is to stimulate a discussion around next generation protocols that will be fit for purpose. So we're seeing some very exciting scenarios coming out for 5G now, all the way from 8K video through to Internet of Things sensors which wake up once every six months to deliver a small payload, connected cars, you name it. So. What, when I say fit for purpose, it, what it means is that the protocols must be able to realise very low latency, um, must be inherently secure, for example. And so what we're doing is we're putting together a package towards the standards bodies to say, uh, here is the problem space. Here are some requirements that next generation protocols would need to meet in order to deliver the 5G services when they're very widely used. So we're at a time right now where the, the scenarios are being discussed for 5G, but they're not really out in the wild being very you know, widely deployed, let's say. That will change over the next 10 years, and we want the next generation protocols to be ready in time for that. So as well as the, the aforementioned items, we're also delivering some example uh, protocols which have been looked at before, um, as well as some principles which can be used to help build the new protocols as, uh, as they move into standardization. How important is it to work alongside and collaborate with other standards bodies such as the IETF and how are they reacting, how are they receiving your ideas and inputs? Well it's great that we're here at the, the Etsy 5G Architecture Summit and we have um, ITF Chair Yari Arko here for example and um, they're very open to receiving such problem statements which is great to hear. We also have the, um, the 3GPP CT Chair Jörg Meyer here as well um, again, they recognise that uh, this is something that needs to be discussed jointly between ITF and 3GPP because it does, it is an internet problem. So as well as contributions from other standards bodies, can other vendors and operators get involved in the NGP work? So for example, uh, you're able to join the ISG, uh, just go to the Etsy portal, look for NGP and you'll see some information there. Uh, you're very welcome to join the discussion and uh, also other standards organisations such as ITUT, we've uh, produced liaisons towards them as well. Does the next generation protocol work have to fit in with the very tight time frames of the 3GPP 5G process or can it slot into the ongoing development of 5G after 2020? Well certainly I hope it's the latter and there's some good openings within the 5G architecture at the moment. Uh, handoff points to non-IP for example and network slicing is another example and um, under narrowband IoT, operators have got um, payloads being sent it, um, without IP at the moment in certain examples. So that, that's useful uh, to know that we've got the, the, the points to start working now and then maybe towards fuller deployments over time. Kevin, thank you very much. Thank you.